M108 is the highest performance microphone preamplifier and converter that we've ever made. We first started working on the M108 almost four years ago with the eye on the fact that the recording industry is, is changing. Um, we're having much more involvement with computers and computer networks in everything that we do. Productions are getting more sophisticated, channel counts are increasing, we needed to develop a product that embodies all of the performance that people have come to expect from Grace Design into a package that's going to keep up with technology that's changing all around us in the studio. We designed the M108 to be an ultra high performance eight channel microphone preamplifier with a state of the art A to D conversion system as well. 108 has D to A converters and multiple digital interface formats. This allows the M108 to be a great front end for remote recording systems, multi-channel studio front ends, as well as a computer interface for location recording. The microphone preamplifiers embody everything that we've learned in 25 years of making high performance mic preamps. The new circuitry sounds absolutely huge. It's invisible, it's transparent, it's musical. It embodies everything that we strive for in building transparent, neutral audio equipment. Yeah, it was an odyssey, yeah. uh, but, uh, but a very cool one. The M108 has a lot of sophisticated control capability, um, but at its core, um, out of the box, we wanted to make it a very simple, easy to use experience. Uh, basically plug it in, turn it on. You've got controls over mic preamp, uh, all your ADC settings. Uh, things are, are readily available and easy to access. The OLED display that we used on the M108 is, uh, uh, we, we auditioned a lot of uh, different displays before we selected that one. And, we picked it based on the fact that it gives us a really wide viewing angle, uh, long life, and uh, has great contrast. The display on the 108 is going to come up and it's going to give you basically the status of all your mic preamp channels. Uh, so you got quick reference to all the gain settings, your fan and power settings, your phase reverse, um, as well as uh, high precision metering on all eight channels. We wanted to make sure that the user could have different information available on the display depending upon their workflow and what they're doing. So perhaps you're uh, setting up your, your gain for all your preamps. So we have a gain mode that allows you to see um, with large display, you know, the gain setting for whatever channel you're working on. Um, we've got a group display mode that allows you to group different channels together. Um, in addition to that, there's a headphone level display. We can have that. You can choose to have that active all the time or get hidden when you're not using the headphone control. There's also a mixer configuration setting in the 108. So uh, the display gives you uh, the ability to set mixer level pan, mute and solo controls for all your channels in the mixer, as well as different source and routing options. Front panel of the 108 gives you a really easy interface. Uh, two rotary encoders, one is dedicated for headphone level and the other is for your mic preamp control and system setup. And a uh, set of push buttons uh, for direct access to uh, important parameters like phantom power, ribbon mode, or phase reverse. We've got some nice features in the preamp. You can name your channels, uh, for instance. Um, you can also save or recall up to 100 different presets. Uh, so that's all the system configuration, gain, and, uh, and ADC settings, as well as mixer settings. There's actually several options for controlling the M108. Um, the first of which uh, is that the 108 integrates seamlessly into a M802 system using M802 remote control. So via RS422 or 485 serial interface. 
The second is uh, via Pro Tools MIDI. Uh, so using a standard MIDI interface, uh, you can hook up a system of 108s and control them from your Pro Tools session. The newest control methodology that we've employed on the 108 is uh, uh, Ethernet control. And for that, uh, we developed a Ethernet interface with a, a standalone control port on the M108. From this software, you can control up to 12 preamps. You can control every single function, plus a few added features. Uh, you get independent group control, so you can group channels across preamps and control their gain altogether. You can view the meter data, you can clear overs, you get full remote control from this application of 12 independent preamps. There's actually a web server on the 108. You plug it into your network and configure the IP address either manually or automatically. And all you gotta do is type in the, uh, the IP address to your browser and there's your 108 to control. So it's pretty cool. All that stuff those guys were talking about, I did that stuff. Except for the stuff that they did. <laughs> We've designed a number of products that include a USB audio interface. Uh, I think probably four or five by now, and we've gotten to be familiar with how that works. Uh, it comes up a little quicker than it did when we first started doing USB designs. This product has an interface that uh, permits you to bring the eight channels of ADC up to 192 kilohertz sample rate to your computer, uh, and of course, bring straight into your Pro Tools or other workstation application. It also provides two channels of output from the computer to monitor a mix. So the 108 has a mixer built in that allows for a uh, short delay mix of your ADC channels along with the two channels from the computer or from an auxiliary module should we uh, sell you an upgrade. Dante is, is almost a mind-blowing development that you can put dozens or hundreds of channels of digital audio onto Ethernet and distribute those channels, for example, from an ADC to multiple consumers of, for example, monitoring, recording systems, public address, broadcast, all from one source across Ethernet. And it's a relatively low cost interface uh, once you invest in developing the technology. This was the most ambitious design project that we've ever engaged in at Grace Design. When we get into a de development project like this, uh, and we start firing on all cylinders. We all are just working together and um, it's an exciting process and to uh, go along for that ride is, is pretty awesome. That's, that's what we were doing here. We, just, we, des we decided what the product's gonna be and then we made it and it, we made it correctly. When you work for Mike Grace, you just come into work assuming that it's gonna go that way. You're gonna do something correct. And if not, he'll say it's not, and then you do it again. You know, we've taken everything we know about building microphone preamplifiers and building digital converters and building clocks and spent three years putting it all together into a completely integrated package that's small, lightweight, has incredibly flexible connectivity, is bomb-proof reliable and is affordable. The design intent is to develop products that become essentially invisible to the user. They're easy to use and they sound great, so it just becomes a conduit for bringing their music to light. These are great guys to work for to work with. These are the kind of people that make you a better person to be around and they give you space to be yourself and uh, be comfortable. It's like a family here and you can't trade that. You can't put a price on that. You don't find that in your first job out of college ever, except I did. 
Anybody have any good jokes? <laughs> a mutual of Omaha as well, Kingdom. Probably wouldn't have stayed up till four in the morning drinking liquor and stuff, playing bluegrass music. Drowning in a 